What happened to the Geomero probe? You tell me right now, straight away, immediately. Uh, <laughs> there's nothing to worry about. It's just a technical issue. You don't sound very convincing. <gasps> Did someone steal it? Well, we can't say for sure that it was stolen. We've contacted the seller and sent some people in search. We should soon be able to... Yeah, why wasn't Wildfire keeping a lookout? I gotta catch the thief and get the probe back. Any ideas, honorary member? Are you suggesting that someone altered the registration form? That's simply not possible. We've been keeping a close eye on everything. <sighs> Fool! What the honorary member means is that the thief only came here to create trouble. They weren't interested in buying or selling, right? When the going gets smart, the boss of the moles gets... smarter. Wait a minute. Let me see. Hmm. Aside from you, there was someone else who registered as a buyer but never put in a bid. And I think there was a miner who registered with him. Come on, let's go and interrogate them. Hi, excuse me. May I ask where the miner who registered with you is gone? Him? I think he went back into town. So... He already ran away. He came here saying he wanted to buy the Geo Marrow probe, but then he changed his mind for some reason and ran back to Boulder Town alone. I don't know him all that well. Why don't you just head into town and look for him? Do you really think he'll turn out to be a thief? I'm not so sure now. <clears throat> anyway, outsiders, you should go and look for him in Boulder Town. I need to make sure the other buyers haven't left. If you don't find anything, the thief might still be among us. Let's head back to Boulder Town and catch the thief! It's getting late. Where to now? Did you take the Geomero probe? Hand it over right now! Huh? What? Who are you? Where are the people I'm supposed to meet up with? Honorary member, we shouldn't waste any time talking to him. Let's just knock him out. <laughs> Look at a couple of brats do to me. Do you even know how much the probe is worth? You two better think twice. The boss put in a lot of effort to find this item. If you even... Enough talk! How about a Digger Drug Knuckle Sandwich? The Sanctuary is but a vision! Break! Uh. Burn it up! Okay, enough! I give up, okay? D stay calm! I'll give you the probe, just listen to me. I overheard the auctioneer say that the Geomero probe would fetch at least 600 shield. 600 shield! Have you ever seen that much money? <laughs> you? Yeah, right. I don't believe you. How about this? The boss, along with a few buddies and I, we put together 600 shield and buy the probe from you. Hmm? No! Hook won't do that! Come on, Missy. Don't be so stubborn. We can talk it over. Hmm. I see. You just want to keep the probe to yourselves, right? And here I was thinking I'd met some nice people. You're worse than I am. Huh? 
Maybe it did in the beginning, but things have changed now. Let's go, honorary member. Back to the auction. Wait a minute. You're just gonna give it back? That's 600 shield! 600! At least think about it! There's nothing to think about, Mr. Thief! I want this detector, but I don't want to be a louse like you. We're gonna win it at the auction fair and square! Let's go. You got the pro back? Amazing! Fantastic! The owner asked me to pass on 150 shield as a reward for retrieving it. And thanks to you, the auction house has regained its credibility. Please, accept an extra 50 shield. That's... 200 shield! Really? You've earned it. Besides, if you win the bid for the Geomero probe, you'll have paid back the seller anyway, right? Well, I didn't say that, but you could certainly interpret it that way. Huck generously accepts the reward. We've got 800 shield for the auction! Ahem. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the technical issue has been resolved. The second half of the auction is about to commence. Please gather in an orderly manner. The next item up for auction has been provided by a veteran prospector from the Vagrant Camp. It's an ancient relic, a Geomarrow probe. The item itself was once a key component of another old world relic, and its one-of-a-kind craftsmanship has long since ceased to exist. This meticulously preserved probe is a rare work of art. The opening bid is 400 shield. 450! 480! 520! 550! 560! Order? Order? You're just throwing bids out at random. 650! 700! Seven twenty. <laughs> Everyone's looking at us. What should we do? Seven fifty. Seven fifty. Did you hear that, everyone? That's what a one of a kind treasure costs. Seven fifty shield going once. Seven fifty shield going twice. Seven fifty shield going three times. Congratulations to the winner! Honorary member, did I win the bid? Does Hook really get the probe? <laughs> Hook actually won the bid! Big sister, thank you so much! Hook would never have won the probe without your help. Ah, oh, we've got some money left over. Let's use it on the old witch. She helped Hook repair Jun Jun, so Hook's gonna treat her to some stone grilled home. As for you, you've earned Hook's verbal praise. Ah, ten times? That's too many. I'll say it once. Listen carefully. Thanks for the help, big sister. Let's go see the old witch later. I'll ask her to wrap this probe up as a beautiful gift for daddy. It's getting late. Where to now? Natasha! Hook! Huh? 
Look, you look very happy. Did something good happen? Mine and Daddy's birthday party is starting soon. Can you help me wrap up this gift? I want to surprise Daddy. <sighs> you rascal. <laughs> you only come and find me in situations like this. Please, Natasha. I'll help you clean the clinic for half a month, if you help me. Deal. I can't believe you won such a valuable item. Junjun must have fetched a small fortune, huh? Even with the Erebus, you must have put in a lot of effort to get such a good price. Fursman will be very happy with his gift. By the way, Hook, how are your birthday party plans coming along? Have you invited this young lady? Oh, not yet! <laughs> Big sister, do you want to come to my birthday party? Great! Oh, I'll contact the other members of the moles, too. Come find me when you're ready. We'll go together. Boss, the big hero you mentioned is here. Julian, knock it off. Uh, you heard that? Well, don't get too cocky, honorary member. We were talking about the birthday party. You want to hear about it, too? Well, Aunt Gertie always makes a big black bean cake for Hook's birthday. Oh, oh, and Daddy always makes a huge roasted rock crab for me. Uh, he makes my mouth water just thinking about it. And don't forget about Diggertron. Daddy brings a year's worth of machine oil and Diggertron drinks it all up. I'm the boss of the moles. If I don't get enough to eat, how will I have the energy to punish villains? We were talking about the birthday party. You want to hear about it too? Well, I had to invite Daddy first. Speaking of birthdays, Daddy never used to celebrate them. He only started doing it when he adopted Hook. I also invited other members of the moles, and... Oh, yeah, Sila, too! Uh, she couldn't come today, but she said she'd still send me a gift. <laughs> I also invited the old witch, Sweta, and... You, of course! The honorary member! We were talking about the birthday party. You want to hear about it, too? I do hope you will forgive the ramblings of an old man, but I... I would like to say a few words. I had no idea when my birthday was before I adopted Hook. And I most certainly did not celebrate it. I didn't realize how important birthday celebrations were until I met my daughter. That is why I chose to have my birthday on the same day as Hook. So that... We could celebrate this special day together. That continued year after year, until I too began to look forward to the party. Today is an extra special day. In addition to the moles, Hook has invited a dear and brave new friend. I hope you have a wonderful time at the party today. Natasha told me that you helped Hook retrieve a teddy bear. It used to be that Hook could only fall asleep when she held that bear in her arms. Daddy, don't bring that up. Uh, Hook's grown up now. I can sleep without hugging Junjun. -Jun. Life has gotten increasingly difficult since we left the mining town. All those days away at work have meant that your dad hasn't always been around to look after you. But fortunately, Joan June was always with you to keep you company when I wasn't around. I... Oh, Daddy, I... I have to tell you something. I... I sold Joon June. Huh? You sold him? Oh, don't worry, Daddy. I don't need a doll to keep me company anymore. 
Natasha, the moles, and the honorary member will keep me company from now on, so I won't be lonely. You sold him. I truly am an incompetent father. I had no idea. Not true! I know you care about me the most, Daddy. I just didn't tell you because I didn't want you to worry. Huh. Thank you, Hook. But the birthday gift I've chosen is... Uh... Huh? What did you get for me, Daddy? This... a teddy bear's cap, clothes, and a dresser? And a little home for him. Toy-making companies are increasingly scarce this year. I had to travel to different towns. I never expected June June might have been sold. <laughs> what a shame. Uh, it's okay, Daddy. Don't cry. Uh, Natasha will teach me how to make another doll. Oh, yeah, I got a gift for you, too. Open it and take a look. For me? I'm curious. It's... the Jill Morrow probe. <laughs> she helped me to bid for it at the auction. I bought it with the money I got from selling Jun Jun. With this, you should be able to repair the vein detector. Right, Daddy? Daddy? Thank you so much, Hook. Daddy really likes this birthday gift. But, uh... <laughs> I... I might not be able to use it right now. Huh? Well, why not? It's like this, Hook. I... bought your gift with the money I got from selling the vein detector. Do you still like the gift I got for you? Of course! Your gifts are the best in the world! Well, I feel the same way about your gift, Hook. Me and you are in the same boat. Daddy!
Mr. Yang, someone's hurt. Up, up ahead. You're hurt, son. Uh, try not to talk. March, use your six-phased ice to stop the bleeding. Go easy. We don't want to add frostbite to his list of complaints. I'm on it! This area saw fierce fighting only recently. Let's keep searching. There might be other survivors. Up ahead. Please. There are wounded everywhere. The silver lining is that, based on what we can see, no civilians were caught up in the battle. I'm guessing the Sienjo must have evacuated the port immediately, leaving the soldiers to deal with the crisis. But as for these uh, corroded monsters... We've never seen this kind of life form before. I have no interest in conflict. You can fight it or rock with it. is yet to come. <clears throat> Miss Tingyun, fall back! They're Mara struck. We've already lost them. Hey, you there! We need your help! Pleasure. But are you thanking us or giving yourself a compliment? Turn it up! You can fight it or rock with it! Need a doctor? Hiya! I'm on guard. <laughs> Fighting is meaningless. The truth of life and death reveal the sanctuary is but a vision. Break. This song's for you. Keep up. Let me tend your wounds. Lance at the ready. I have no interest in conflict. Miss Tingyun, the Mara struck have been repelled, but, but there could be other dangers nearby. The situation is serious. Allow us to escort you back to the Skyfaring Commission. Immediately. 
Calm down, I heard you. It'd be rude of me to depart without thanking our benefactors. My name is Ting Yun. I'm the Amicassador for the Lawfu Skyfaring Commission Merchant Guild. May I venture to know the illustrious names of my heroes? Illustrious names? Uh, sure. I'm March 7th. This is Mr. Yang. Oh, Mr. Welt Yang. And this is... Oh, <laughs> Miss Secret. Uh, don't mind her. She likes to get a little creative with her introductions. Uh, next time, why not remind me before I give up my name? I see. Well, thank you for coming to our aid. Although, there is one thing I don't understand. Starskiff Haven is under lockdown, since none of you are Sienjo residents. May I ask how you came to be here? If you can't offer an explanation, I'm afraid these Cloud Knights will have to escort you out. Uh, we called for port transfer and got no response, but then someone opened the Jade Gate for us. When we arrived, there was no one to be found, so we started to make our own way through. How can that be? My ship was the last one into port before the Jade Gate was shut. The Skyfaring Commission has already locked down Starskiff Haven entirely. We're telling the truth. You could verify it yourself by checking the access history of the Jade Gate. We, we found it strange ourselves when the gate opened, but no one came to greet us. Hmm. You're with the Astral Express. You've heard of us? Indeed I have. Oh, you've arrived at a bad time. The Sienjo has suffered an incident. Whether you're here for leisure, treatment, or trade, I'm afraid you won't be able to go through with it. For your safety, you should hurry to Central Starskiff Haven and take refuge. I'll take you to Madame Yukong of the Skyfaring Commission and let her decide how to proceed. We caught wind of the incident you mentioned. That's why we're here, Miss Tingyun. To help the Sienjo seal the Stellaron. <laughs> Your actions have already revealed your kind hearts to me. Uh, sadly, I can't make you any promises. You're outsiders, and only Madame Yukong has the authority to consider your offer. Oh, don't worry. Madame Yukong is kind-hearted too. Come on now, I'll lead the way. Looks good. Those monsters back there. They were no monsters. Oh, those were not to be confused with monsters, benefactors. We call them Mara Struck.
late to repent. Burn it up! You can fight it, or rock with it! for you. Keep up! Finally! Nice teamwork. to repent. The truth of life and death reveals the sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Fighting is meaningless. Pretty good crowd today. Let's rock! Ready to lose yourself? You can fight it, or rock with it! You don't look so good! Stay off! Nice teamwork. Time for the main event. <laughs> Not a scratch. Finally! Nice teamwork. Hmm. I've no interest in conflict. <laughs> Teamwork. Let's rock. Need a doctor? Stay off. Nice teamwork. Fighting is meaningless. The truth of life in this sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Lance ablaze! Lance forward! <laughs> Time for the main event.
Why have we stopped? Don't worry, miss. I have a favor to ask, that's all. Favor? Count me out. What if we do it wrong and you get your cloud cronies to throw us in jail? I shouldn't have doubted you. Please, accept my apologies. Our road ahead is barricaded. Do you see? The soldiers stationed here must have moved these into a roadblock. <laughs> what? Does he look like a crane to you? I'd like to see us try. <laughs> They're extremely heavy. Even with all of us, we wouldn't be able to move one. Not that I'm doubting your skill, but I'd feel terrible if you hurt yourself in the process. If I'm not mistaken, the containers in the Trove of Verdure can be moved around using a control panel. You've already put on quite the show. Do you think you'll be able to find and operate the control panel? Should be simple, right? I knew it! This will be a breeze for you. We just need to pass through here, take the barge to Starskiff Haven, and we'll be safe. You know, you sound sweet enough, but you were talking about getting us escorted away by your Cloud Knights. If it weren't for Mr. Yang... You misunderstand. If you were in my shoes right now, wouldn't you want to keep your guard up? Ah, uh, true. But we came here to trailblaze, not jailblaze. Turn it up! You can fight it, or rock with it! Past victories don't guarantee future ones. You work for the Skyfaring Commission, so I assume you're aware of its destructive power. Yes, I am. As an Amicassador, I've been to many planets and seen my fair share of Stellaron corrosion.
too late to repent. Time to twirl! Time to twirl! <laughs> But a vision! Break! <sighs> Past victories don't guarantee future ones. This will strengthen our position. Victories don't guarantee future ones. This will strengthen our position.
This will strengthen our position. Okay, can take it. Get ready and watch your backs. Leave it to me. <laughs> Immortality means forever. Move carefully. <laughs> the truth of life and death. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break! Do you know who I- This big diamond! It's all yours! Time to twirl! You the doctor? <laughs> Fighting is meaningless. of life in the sanctuary is but a vision! Break. A miracle! Honored to meet me! I was talking about. Uh-uh-uh. Just sit back and relax. All Amicassiters know their way around the Star Skiff. Oh, I was perfectly calm until she volunteered to help. Please take your seats, everyone. We'll be off right away. 